And he read from the right side of the field all the way back to the left. You want to UTEP to showing play. blitz, and they're going to get to the quarterback, and the ball is loose. Who is on it? The ball is still loose, and it looks like UTEP is on it. Let's see if UTEP can capitalize on the turnover. One timeout, 53 seconds remaining, as Loxley is going to be flushed to his right, and he's in trouble, and he's going to go down. He loses the football. Ball is still loose, and then it's recovered by New Mexico State. And check this out. It's Denzel Chukukelu going all the way the other way for the touchdown. New Mexico State. Three fumbles turned over here right at the end of the first half, and New Mexico State makes the most of their opportunity to create a turnover. And Kai Loxley, that's one thing you've got to do. I was just saying that earlier. you got to have that internal clock in your head as a quarterback and know when you need to get the ball out of your hands. And unfortunately for him right here, he didn't see the guy pressure from the back, created a turnover. He will shift to his right on a third and 18. Loxley has the snap. Four-man rush for New Mexico State looking deep down the field. He's got Terry Janiel. Terry Janiel's going to make a move. He's out across the 50, and here we go. He's going to get a block, and he is going to go the distance. Terry Juneau for the UTEP touchdown. And that put UTEP in a position with an extra point to tie up this football game. What a play from Terry Juneau. Our defense gets a three and out to start this second half. It only took less than a minute off of, the, off of the clock. And UTEP comes out, makes the biggest play on offense for this team this season. Terry Juneau breaks away. Nice touchdown and not to mention. Crowd comes to life here on third and five. And UTEP is sending pressure. Pass is going to be complete to Jason Huntley. Huntley breaks the tackle, and he's going down the sideline. This guy can fly. Touchdown, New Mexico State. It was actually coming up with the play. It looked like Royce Caldwell. It's number seven, not number one. Royce Caldwell. In a nemesis of theirs early on in this season. They've got to be able to wrap up, and that's a great play by New Mexico State right here in Caldwell to be able to catch the ball with a guy on his back, break a tackle and have the burners to break away down the sideline. Get enough for the first down. Loxley facing a four-man pressure, and Aggie's getting some pressure on him anyways. Loxley taking the shot. Ball is tipped, and it's going to be picked off, and New Mexico State is going to win this football game. The interception there coming from Austin Perkins. The win for New Mexico State today is actually marking the eighth time that New Mexico State has picked up their first win of the football season against their crosstown rival in the UTEP Miners at the Battle of I-10. And for New Mexico State, they still have an opportunity to potentially make a run at it the, through the end of this season to make it to another bowl. They're 1-4 right now moving forward. UTEP 0-4 going forward. They have eight games left. 